to subscribe to my YouTube channel, press the bell icon and get notified when the video drops. It's amazing. Yes, exactly, exactly. And and we just got our second special guest coming in. Eric Nam will soon have speaking capabilities just in a moment, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, we hey Eric. And um, yeah, we're just getting everyone in here, letting everyone in. Uh, I, I do have a bit of unfortunate news that uh, Kashmir will not be able to join us, unfortunately. Um, but we're still going to have a, an amazing space, and uh, it's going to be uh, really fun. And we got Eric on speaker capabilities now. Hey, Eric. Hey, hey how are you? How's everybody um, doing? We're doing great. Well, you know, I guess I wanted to kick this off because you guys have been having kind of like a crazy week, an amazing week, just as our mom was telling us. And I just want you guys to kind of just take a moment, you know, breathe in, breathe out. I was meditating before this, but, you know, can you reflect a bit on just what it's been like watching the reaction, seeing everyone finally hear this song and this project that so many people have been looking up for? Oh, man. Um, it's been so cool just to see, you know, how so many people around the world are connected to this song and reacting to it in such a positive way. Um, it, it's kind of, I think, as artist project, at least for me, like, I tend to listen to this song a million times before it actually gets out to the general public. And it's one of those things where I'm like, I wish somebody could enjoy this with me. Like somebody could hear this and feel what I'm feeling and, and uh, to be able to just generally enjoy the song. But I feel like finally we get to share that with the world and um, to do it in this month and also in this way has been such a cool experience. And also um, because I think this is like a, a moment that the world kind of needs, you know, uh, so I'm really excited for all of it. Oh, exactly, exactly. I, I love, you, you You talked about so many great things right there um, and, and so much to dive into. I want to give Armand a chance to just, Armand, have you gotten a chance to even just reflect on what everyone's reactions been like so far? I think it's, it's unreal to see the kind of reaction that we're getting. Um, to begin with, to be honest, this song has been in the works for uh, the past eight to nine months and it's finally taken shape and it's out there in the world just like eric said you know i've i've been listening to it on my phone for the longest time and now it's out there for everyone to uh, listen to it and enjoy it so it's definitely a surreal feeling uh, what's really special for me is that this is my first ever international collaboration i haven't ever done uh, something like this before so i'm really kicked about it and um, well eric and i have had this Twitter friendship that kind of kickstarted this collaboration. So I'm really happy to finally have a, to have a track out there with him and with the talented Kashmir. So I'm really, really happy with Echo being out there and Armanians and the Nam Nation and Kashmir's fans. They have been just pouring in so much love for us. Just want to take a second there and thank all of them. Exactly. And I think... You know, gratitude is just something I, I totally feel from you guys. Just uh, I've been watching the interviews. Uh, I've been keeping up with, with all the promotions here. And, and it's just really awesome not only to see you guys genuinely excited about the music and how it's all coming together, but, um, yeah, just a gen general sense of gratitude about being able to make this happen. So I, I just want to really give you guys your props on that. Uh, not only creating a great song, a great video, even in these trying times, but, you know, just, just the overall attitude has been amazing. And, um, you know, too, I, I think that kind of speaks to a bit of, of something that I wanted to mention, too, is that, you know, not only here in this Twitter space, and shout out to Twitter for creating you know, the friendship between Eric and Armand, like, uh, how amazing is that? I feel like we have a big part of Twitter to thank uh, in terms of making this happen. But I, I want to highlight how dedicated you've all been to this collaboration, even among the different, you know, time zones and schedules. You've come together for interviews, the YouTube video premiere last night that I was, I, I was watching you guys. I guess, what is 
kind of fueling this this passion and dedication of this project specifically? Let's kick it off with um, with Eric on this one. Um, yeah, thanks for the question. I, I think what's fueling the, de- the excitement? You know, I think, first of all, it's something really cool to, to see, like, K-pop and also, you know, Indian pop kind of come together. I would, I might say that I don't want to tie myself down to this, but I think this may be the first um, of its kind. Uh, and then we also have, you know, Kashmir, who's, you know, so, you know, an incredible talent in his own right in, in the EDM and the produ- producing space. Well. So for it to be something where it's like, three completely different worlds really colliding like this, I think is just an incredibly exciting moment. And so I think for me as an artist, whenever I try to look at my projects, I'm like, what can we do that hasn't been done before? What can we do that's that's really going to take people by surprise or um, really give them a pleasant little gift in the form of music or art? And that I think is something that's really um, exciting for me personally. Um, also just, you know, for me to be able to connect with a lot of fans in India um, in a way that I've never been able to do either. You know, I've always seen a lot of fans in India who are like, can you come tour in India? And actually like before COVID, we had plans to go do two shows there. Um, But this was also like a way I can't physically be there, but also just to do something with Armand and Kashmir is, is I feel like the best way to, to say hello um, from some far away. And then secondly, I think the part that's really exciting for me is that, you know, this is this is a song with three Asian dudes um, from different parts of the world that I think stands strong in terms of its musicality, in terms of its artistry, in terms of representation and what I want my music and my brand to be about. And that's why I think it's so important, especially in a time and age where, you know, Asian hate is a very real and horrifying thing. And uh, in a time and place where I think social media can become like an echo chamber of people of like completely polarized opposite parts of where people think. And so to be able to pull people together through a piece like this and to show the good and the positive that can come from it, um, I think is, is great. And we're doing that through this song as well. Sorry, that was a very long answer, but that's what I'm feeling. A great answer. I love it. And if you guys love what you're hearing too, you know, definitely hype it up. Hype these guys up with the emojis. If you don't know, hit that little heart with the plus and uh, show some love. (laughs) Thanks, Eric. You're welcome. You're doing great, Jeff. Uh, (laughs) Well, and, and, you know, you guys have kind of spoke a bit about it, but, you know, how important, I guess, you know, in generally speaking, how important is a song like this coming out? During Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, uh, specifically in 2021, um, I I guess I I feel the larger impact in that. And and I want you guys to kind of, you know, share that in your own words. Let's kick it off with Armand for this one. Um, Thanks, Jeff. Um, I think this is such an important time to come together. Uh, Three Asian guys, three Asian artists uh, with diverse musical backgrounds but yet coming together and celebrating such an important time to be an Asian artist, Asian creator. Um, It's beautiful uh, that we've been able to birth a collaboration of this scale and with such amazing talents. I've always believed that um, there would be a huge collaboration that would happen from Asia that would represent us in a bigger way globally. And I believe that Echo could be the start of that movement. And I'm really happy to be a part of this with such amazing talents like Eric and Kashmir. Um, With Eric, I think there's this genuine mutual admiration and appreciation we have for each other, even though we've never met each other in person. Um, It's it's just so amazing that I've been able to connect with him, uh, not only as a musician, but also as a person. I really love that apart from, like beyond music, I love how vocal he is regarding all the issues pertaining to Asians and with everything that's going on in the world, I think um, Echo just has the perfect lyrics that relate to everything that's happening in the world right now. And it's just unbelievable that three Asians have come together and put out a song like this at such an important time in history. 1,000%. And, um, you know, I want to 
just mention two things from that. First off, I don't know if you guys have been looking at the iTunes stats, but the song has been rising. It's already top 10 in India, top 200 in Switzerland. It's rising in the UK and United States iTunes charts. So I just had to share that update, first of all, when talking about the global stage. So congratulations there. I love that. <laughs> Thank you. That's awesome. <laughs> yes, it's, it's rising quick. And it's only been out, what, uh, 13 hours or something? So yeah, amazing. Um, and two, I I wanted to um, kind of respond to um, one point um, that you guys have kind of been talking about, but also utilize a bit of Twitter Spaces um, ability to share um, tweets. And uh, I saw the um, Rolling Stone India interview with with Reedy, who's in um, the room right now, and I thought it was amazing. Uh, I thought it was a great interview. Uh, hi, Reedy. But I'm um, going to just share um, this this tweet right here that I think everyone will be able to see, but I wanted to kind of just give everyone a moment, you know, I'll read it real quickly. Eric Nam always working towards better and bigger representation of Asians and Asian Americans in worldwide mainstream media. Love how passionate he is about this pre save echo. Um, you know, I, I guess I wanted to, I really liked how this person picked up on that and, and picked up on one of Eric's, you know, main points in that particularly, but also, you know, wanted to give you guys a, a moment to kind of, you know, respond to, you know, just some tweets and, and react to some tweets. I, I have some more up my sleeve as well that I wanted to share, but Eric, to get, to get your thoughts on just, you know, the importance of this song coming out during this month and, and also, um, also just your fans recognizing, uh, your passion on this. Yeah. Um, well, thanks for the tweet and thanks for the, the question. I think, you know, it's it's something that I feel incredibly strongly about. And I don't think it's even like hidden anymore. I feel like it's so blatant out there. It's just like we need more representation. We need more people and we need to challenge the status quo and what we think of as quote unquote normal. Um, because that allows the younger future generations to dream. You know, I, I think growing up, if I had seen somebody that looked like me performing at the Grammys or performing on Billboard Music Awards or hosting something at MTV, like that would have really changed the game for me in terms of like allowing myself to say, hey, maybe I will try to do music from a young age in a serious way. Um, and my life... You know, it's, it's great now, but I could have started music e even earlier, potentially. But allowing people, allowing Asian, Asian Americans or people who identify that way to see themselves in a way, in a positive light and allowing them to pursue these things, I think, is what takes us further and, and give a bigger step into the future in terms of equality and um I guess, acceptance and openness for everybody. And I think that's just something that's very uh, core to who I am as a person, um, not only my music, but just how I try to like live my daily life. And so hopefully it kind of permeates everything that I do. And uh, thanks for recognizing that to whoever sent that tweet. Amazing. Yes. No, I, I remember when I think we talked uh, kind of uh, around this time last year and, and you know, that there was... It, it was really interesting to hear you speak on it. I'll never forget what you said because you said, you know, I, I don't feel anything exactly. I haven't felt anything directly. Um, but you say, you know, you you kind of wonder if people give certain looks to you or things like that. And and you know, I I, I think that's just a, a, a bigger representation of what you were saying and that, you know, just getting more of those faces out there, getting more of these people out there, giving more opportunities, you know, putting on big platforms like this. I think that's exactly what, what you're speaking to. And, and I think, uh, I, I'm just always happy to see you speaking out on that. So thanks for Thank that. You. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I wanted to ask too, because we are on Twitter where fan bases rule everything. Um, we we have we have K-pop fans in the house. We have Bollywood fans in the house, Indian pop fans in the house, EDM fans, pop fans, and more. I guess you know this is a question for both of you. You know, is has there been anything either of you have learned about one of these different worlds um, through Echo? Um. Okay, I'm gonna say <laughs> I'll respond to that. Um, I think it's it's beautiful how two really different fan bases are interacting with each other and uh, a lot of the love that I see from my Indian fans is very similar to the love that uh, probably K-pop fans and the other fans 
uh, the EDM fans uh, have for their respective artists. And it's it's so beautiful to see all of them coming together and supporting us in something like this. And through Echo, actually, I've um, I've been able to kind of say hello to all of Eric's fans and Kashmir's fans. And it's just amazing to be able to come together and see all of them come together and celebrate our music and this collaboration. I mean, check it out. Look at all the Echo a- avatars we got here. And I, love, <laughs> I love that the Echo logo has three different parts to it. I don't know if that was on purpose, but great job, whoever designed it. Great job, design team. I, awesome. I, <laughs> um, no, just to, just to echo... What? Sorry, that was horrible. Sorry, just okay, to echo. You keep doing Armand that, say, Just to echo what Armand is saying. <laughs> no, I, I think it's I think it's really cool to see like different fan dumbs and fan cultures coming together. And and I think the one thing that I've had always felt is when it comes to particularly like fandoms within K-pop, they're so like K-pop fans are so diverse and they are all over the world. And I think there's a certain part of it where a lot of them feel unheard or unseen. Um, and I felt like India fans in India were definitely like a big, big population of them. Um, and so to have like this moment where we can pull like people from different genres and different backgrounds and to pull them all into like one project, not just in terms of the artists, but like the fan cultures and allowing people to, to make new friends, you know, through things like this conversation in this space. Um, that's, that's also like one of the really cool things that I think we get to do as artists of introducing people to one another. Um, the other fun thing now that I'm thinking about is like when I am on tour, like I've, I realized that people like fan groups will come back to different shows and that's like their things. Like we met waiting in line for 12 hours together and we became best of friends. And this is how like we enjoy K-pop together now. And I hope that like through this collaboration, there's also that type of exchange culturally, musically, in terms of friendship or whatever, where, you know, we have these effects that go just beyond the sphere of just music. Oh, totally. I mean, I, I'm literally in this room right now seeing people I, I've met at, at concerts. What's up, Lexi? Um, you know, and, and Twitter friends are a real thing. You know, there's people here I've shared a lot with, even in this room, and we've never met. We only literally, you know, basically have talked on Twitter. So I totally see that. There's a couple of you in here. So, yeah, it's really, really cool to see. And I love that you bring that up because I think it gets to show a bit um, – that even though we can't meet in person right now, you know, with these live events and whatnot, that I think that's a really interesting point that kind of like, you know, these virtual spaces, social media spaces, what have you can kind of make it happen. So I I think that's a really amazing, a really amazing point. I want to um, also bring up, get your guys' reactions to a couple more um, tweets that I I brought up. Um, This one that came from, and it's coming in all caps from at am underscore kum kum 22. Every Indian should feel proud of this boy, Arman Malik. He is literally taking India to the global platform. Holy bleep. Uh, hashtag echo. <laughs> Arman, I, I'm just curious, you know, when you see comments like these, you know, I, I know it's a big goal for you personally, but when you see that out there in the world, you know, I, I'm just curious, you know, what your reactions might be. Um... Actually, Jeff, is, it's such an amazing spot to be in from where I stand currently. I'm very hopeful of the artists from India in general. Uh, we've never had a crossover moment for Indian musicians globally. And I think Echo is the first of its kind where um, an Indian artist has collaborated with a K-pop artist and an American Indian-American DJ producer. And this is truly an international collaboration one of its kind that's ever happened before for any Indian artist. And um, even though this is a personal goal of mine that I would really want to take India global and Indian music and Indian musicians global, um, what I really love is that all my fans and all the Indian music fans, they're really rooting for me right now. And I think that's something that's beautiful to see. Um, When I have a billion people in my corner, it makes me feel really strong. 
Oh, I love that. A billion people in your corner. Man, I, I, I can't even imagine. I just got myself here in this sad New York apartment. Um, <laughs> it's okay. We got you, Jeff. We got you. Oh, appreciate that. Appreciate that. Um, I'm, I'm, I know he's not here, but I, I just wanted to share this tweet um, of this amazing um, jacket uh, that was sent to Kashmir. Um, I think it was amazing. But um, two, I also wanted to share, um, and, and I think this kind of speaks a bit a bit larger to kind of some of the themes we've been talking about. But it, again, in the, the Rolling Stone India interview, which, which I loved and thought it was just so cool to see you guys all together, um, Kashmir talked about uh, hoping that with you guys' representation that it could maybe give young people, you know, the hope that they can, you know, that they can pursue music, the arts, creativity, whatever it might be, um, in a more serious manner. For sure. And I loved seeing this comment in particular, saying, now I'm, I'm a big fan of yours. My goal is to be a producer like you someday. Um, can you give advice or, or other words to people in my position? And uh, I, I just loved seeing that and was just kind of, you know, wondering if, if you guys can kind of expand a bit more on that point of just, um, yeah, being, being sort of that visibility and representation for younger people in the sense that this is a viable path, you know, via what means or, or what drives you, however you want to interpret it. Eric, you want to go for it? I sh- I sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, look, I think, I think we live in a time and age where we are so empowered by this thing called the internet, where it is, it is really truly democratized the ability to create and to be found. And as long as, you are really honing your craft and you are putting in the hours and effort to make it happen, then I am one of those optimists that like to believe that it will happen. You got to manifest it. You got to throw it out into the world and uh, it can happen. But the other thing is that if you are Asian or Asian American, it's, this is like the peak so far. We're going to get it to a higher place. We're going to get to an even better place, but it requires you to be engaged and for you to challenge the status quo as well and to join us in in elevating the conversation and taking us one step further. So look, Armand's an incredible artist. Cashmere's an incredible artist. I'm, I'm an artist myself, and I think we're all really good at what we do, but it doesn't mean that we can't benefit from you coming out and doing your best thing too. So I just want to encourage you to just really put in the hours, put in the effort. And when the time comes, when the moment comes and you can strike, then, then go for it. And the community, myself, Armand, Hashmir, all of us will be here to support that and, and to put on for you as well. Thanks Eric for speaking so amazingly. I, I think Eric's so profound with all his thoughts. <laughs> um, <laughs> Armand, what do you, what do you think though? I, I really feel positive about, what we're doing here and um you know just being at the starting point of something so new um i'm I'm speaking for like from an indian perspective i think um to be able to be in a position where i can actually influence the youth and the musicians in our country to take up music and do stuff and uh you know i i really i really want people in my country musicians in my country to come up and be part of this whole movement and if I am being able to do something I really want them to join me and uh, do something together so I think that's it's something so beautiful that I'm doing right now it's not just just for me it feels like I'm doing this with musicians from my country and they really feel like they can look up to what I'm doing I get I, I've just got a message from a musician uh, a few hours back actually and he just told me I love how you're you know, paving the way for Indian artists to kind of make their dreams come true and make make it successfully global, like in a global scenario. So it gives me so much hope and courage to not only do this for myself, but also for all the other artists that get the courage to do this with me and together for India and Indian musicians. Ooh. Can you share who the artist is or I, I, I don't want to pry? Um, but he's a, a independent musician called Keshav. He uh, he DM'd me on Instagram. He shared Echo, and he was like, "I'm so I'm so proud of what you're doing, and it really gives us hope and courage." So 
um i think it's beautiful to see that come from another musician another budding musician who really wants to do the same thing that we've always wanted to do you know take india uh, to a global stage and i'm i'm so glad that through what i'm doing if he's getting inspired and getting the strength to follow his dreams there's nothing more beautiful than that ah oh, amazing i love that oh, okay cool 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 well we're going to do our best now um to uh hopefully bring up some audience members uh because we we got to honor the uh, the the twitter friendship and the fact that twitter has been such a huge part of all this um and and i believe if you either raise your hand and you're in the room or um you know keep it respectful keep keep it fun guys um and uh you know whether you want to share some love share share a message or you want to ask a question to these guys um please um do your thing to um get noticed and and i think our host will be able to bring you up oh we wait yes okay we have our first um we have our first speaker hello shivani maybe not hi hi i was looking to unmute my mic <laughs> sorry go for it <laughs> thank you for adding me um my question is for arman uh first of all arman congratulations for your first international collaboration arman Keep thanks a lot attention. thank you thank you shivani <laughs> thank you so much so Sorry, much, my, my uh, mic was muted yeah my question for you is how how did you keep this collaboration a secret from us for so long <laughs> <laughs> oh god that's a tricky question um i i don't know how i keep these uh, <laughs> secrets and surprises from my fans but it's important because you know when it releases it needs to be a huge surprise for you guys i've been teasing it though um, yes, in still in you my... managed to like uh, put out <laughs> hints in a way yeah i i mean i i do this uh, thing where i uh, you know put out cryptic tweets with like jumbled up words and um i had this whole thing uh that i written called aek and then echo backwards um and uh, all of you guys were trying to decipher yeah. what it was uh, so yeah i've been i've been playing with you guys for the last <laughs> few months and not giving it to you guys straight up but uh Okay. I don't know I I mean this is this is such a special project for me this is my first international collaboration I had to keep keep it a secret and keep it yeah. like until the right moment but are you are, are you surprised what's what's your reaction This has it? been so pleased? much so much fun I have been streaming the song since I, it has released and I can't <laughs> stop vibing to it That's so awesome thank you so much Shivani lots of love Thank you for answering my question <laughs> Do you have any That's questions close. for Eric Eric um I want to ask you a question regarding this collaboration uh, how was it working with Arman and what do you think about your indian fans Oh um, Eric let's go yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, so super working with Arman has been great like I think he has well this is going to be awkward cuz boy you're here but <laughs> He has such like depth in terms of understanding of different styles of music and different obviously languages as well like going through just his music he has so many different styles of music and that's I think one thing that um for me was really fun because I feel like people always like your music is all over the place but I was like yeah but like I feel like I have a very I have my style but I felt the same way about Armand and so when we were able to put it together into a song I think because we are very diverse in terms of our musicality it kind of clicked right yeah. away. Um and so I think that was really cool to see and and fun in working with Arman in that sense. And also just like the general excitement and his like personality just working with him and talking to him just hanging out with him uh over the internet has just been an awesome time. So it's been a lot of fun. Um and then in regards to like my fans in India like I don't know man like I really hope that I'll be able to visit um sometime soon and and uh to connect with you guys on a more deeper and intimate way. I know you guys are there. I always see the tweets, I always see the DMs and all that kind of stuff for like please we're here. I'm like I see you. I see you. I throw you a little heart, <laughs> a little emoji. Um but hopefully, you know, we can 
do more things and hang out together in person when when we're through all this. Yeah, we would love to have you here, and thank you for answering my question. Absolutely, thank you for the questions. Ah, uh, amazing! Thank you for the questions, Shivani. We got another person on the floor now. Um, Mer Mertuza, welcome uh, to the. Hello. Hi, hi, hi. So my question is to Arman. Uh, so you mentioned this is your first international collab. So how is your experience, overall experience, been, and how is it different from you know releasing a single, the pros and cons? Uh, also, Eric, uh, what's your take on this as well? Okay. Uh, thanks, Murtaza, for your question. I think um, it's it's amazing to do an international collaboration. I just wish I was in the same room as Eric and Kashmir while doing this collab. Um, we would have had a making of video for you guys to see of how it went down. But um, I'm I'm so glad that um, we've been able to do this across continents. I think um, I sang my portions in Mumbai. Um, Eric did his portions in Korea and um, Kashmir produced the whole track and put it together. It's truly an international collaboration and it's amazing how we've been able to pull it off uh, during the whole lockdown situation and have it ready for you guys to, you know, stream and love. And I, I think it's it's amazing. And Eric is such an amazing musician. I really love his music and um, our friendship started here on Twitter, which is so cool. Um, and I heard a bunch of his songs and I just felt like when when Echo was ready with Kashmir, I think we had, we had uh, you know, one verse in place. Uh, for the second verse, I was really uh, feeling that we really need an amazing artist. And uh, it was simultaneously, uh, you know, me and Eric exchanged these tweets and uh, our teams got connected and... Um, I uh, I sent Eric the song and he really loved Echo and he put his verse on it and it just elevated the track uh, so much. So it's it's beautiful to have him on the song and yeah, Echo is out there. Thanks for all the love and thanks for the question, Murtaza. We have one more question from I think, uh, I think he, uh, Eric... Had to say, oh. uh, Murtaza, you wanted Eric to say something as well, right? Yeah, I wanted Eric to give his take on this as well. Okay, cool. Okay. Yeah, no, I, you know, I think, um, man, I, I told Armand this yesterday. I was like, I, I did not know that this was like his first international collab. And I was like, oh, man, I feel so, I feel so honored. Um, I feel so honored <laughs> to, to be on this first collab with you because, you know, it is, it is like a, I don't know. I, I feel like when I did my first international club, it was like a big moment for me too, of just like, man, like, I wonder what it's going to be like when it's, you know, it's all in English and this is not in just, you know, the place where I'm known, which was at the time it was Korea. And so it feels like a very momentous occasion. And um, to be able to share that with Arman and, and with Kashmir, I think is, it's really cool. And, you know, pretty much just echoing all everything that Arman said, just, you know, I, Given the situation and the circumstances, I, I think this is the best that we we could do, and it was just such a fun project to put together. And um, hopefully, there will be many more like this in the future. Nice, nice. I love that. Thank you for the question. We have one more speaker who's been brought up to um, the stage. Is that what we call it? The stage up here. Um, but we have friendly neighborhood. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for that. Uh, guys, congratulations on the song. It is amazing. I've been listening to it on repeat. And as an Indian Bollywood fan who's also a K-pop fan, this is huge for me. Um, Eric, I have a question for you. Uh, K-pop is currently going through a huge shift musicality uh, in terms of musicality. So what are some elements you miss from old K-pop? Oh, elements that I miss from all K-pop. You know, that's like, here's the thing. Like, for me, K-pop has become so massive where I think, okay, I'll put it this way. I think everybody's absolutely trying their best and they put their best foot forward. And I think it's incredible. I think the one thing, and I've talked about this on my podcast as well, is where I feel like when one song takes off, then everybody's in a rush to kind of follow that trend. 
and follow that sound. Um, but I would love to see like groups who have a very particular style or individuality about them really commit to it and just build. Um, because I think what's happening when I look at K-pop sometimes, and please, like, this is not a critique. It's just something that I hope can can continue to grow in terms of the musicality of K-pop. It's just general diversity. Um, I think if there's general if we allow musicians and groups to explore more in terms of what is their sound and what do they really want to pursue, that will allow for a richer ecosystem of music within K-pop that can really provide for even more fans and more entertaining content and videos and everything. And so um, I think that's just like kind of my hope in terms of the musicality of K-pop at the moment. I'm sure, you know, K-pop always evolves and it, it meets me at that bar and then it exceeds it. So I'm sure it will happen. Um, but I think that's just kind of how I feel right now in terms of the musicality, if that makes sense. Does that make sense? That makes sense. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, amazing. Amazing. Um, well, we want to be respectful of the guys' times. You guys have been doing so much, going so hard for this collaboration. Like I, I know I speak on so many people and so many fans who are just, grateful to see you guys you know so committed to this really doing your part to, to you know show up for this song so uh just even as someone uh, on the media side it really does um, mean a lot so um really uh hats off to you guys but as we wrap up because of course we're on twitter where news moves the fastest is there anything you guys want your fans to know about that's coming up or to look forward to in the future so they can spread this news like wildfire um, moving forward? Or right now, are we just focused on Echo? No wrong answer. <laughs> Armand, do you have anything? <laughs> I think that's, I feel like that's... Ar Armand has like 50 million secrets up his sleeve that he's just going to oh. just keep dropping on everybody. <laughs> More cryptic yeah. tweets. Oh, I'm, I'm keeping all of it to myself. I, I don't like revealing stuff. <laughs> and it's like, for me, I, I really love uh, when, you know, fans are surprised. I think that moment is just so precious when they don't expect anything. And, you know, you just give them such a cool surprise. So um, I have a lot of stuff in store um, for all my fans. But just I just want to tell all all the Armanians, um, all the fans from Nam Nation, uh, Kashmir's fans, they've done such an incredible job in terms of spreading the song to, you know, everyone out there and just giving us so much love and streaming the song and just just celebrating this moment and this collaboration. So just want to take a moment and thank all the fans for um, coming out so strong. Thank you so much. Absolutely. Um, yeah, as you know, as we're doing this, I'm on. I'm looking on uh, YouTube, and we're about to hit a million views uh, on the music video. So thank wow. you so much to all the Armanians, <laughs> nomination, all Cashmere's fans for really. Um, you know, I, I think there's something to be said where I think our fans. I, th I think generally fans kind of mirror their artists in terms of their personality and in terms of um, just like the grace and the kindness and all the all the good things that come from um, kind of really loving an artist and i i think watching uh armanians and nomination and also cash returns all just kind of interact it's just been really really heartwarming and really fun to be a part of so thank you everybody for being a part of this um for me personally i just have i think i'm putting together my next album um i'm in the process of doing it and then we are locking in tours so i can't tell you when I can't tell you where exactly, but tours are coming back. But before we do that, hopefully everybody gets the vaccine. Everybody gets healthy. And I know for a lot of people listening from India, I know that you guys are going through a really, really tough time with it. So um, prayers and thoughts uh, going your way every day from myself and, and from a lot of people around the world. So just want to put that out there as my looking forward kind of thing. Beautifully said, beautifully said. Okay, really exciting stuff. I think the takeaway is that things are happening. We got to stay safe. We got to stay diligent. Um, but, you know, look up for some cryptic tweets, maybe. I, I, I would say that. <laughs> um, you are so right. There, The guys are actually less than 
5,000 views away from, from hitting a million views. So uh, I have a feeling it's going to hit before the hour uh, ends. So, And by the way, it's 11-11. I don't know if you guys believe in that, but I just feel it's it's a lucky sign. Oh, that's a, <laughs> you always tweet about 11-11. Yeah. I think it's beautiful <laughs> that we're talking about it going 1 million views and it's 11-11 right now. So lots of love and blessings coming in for all of us. Wow. You guys Everyone take, <laughs> make a wish. Do you know what? I, as you said that, I press refresh. We are over a million views. Woo! Hey, that's so cool. <laughs> that's Love so it. funny. Oh, man. That's incredible. Um, Congrats, guys. Congrats. Well, we talked. Oh, I just refreshed it as well. It is at, yeah. Oh, wow. Over a million. And now I think you guys are a million seven thousand. Looking quickly ahead, we were kind of talking, you guys kind of talked about it. That you keep saying, oh, you know, I wish we were in the same room. I wish we could, you know, do a behind the scenes video. Can we do a Twitter Spaces exclusive? Can you guys sing a bit of your parts or harmonize well, a bit? I don't know if it's exactly going to work with the timing, but I thought we could try it as a special um, sign off and goodbye. Yeah, unless there's other messages you guys want to share first. Um, Eric, how, how, how are we going to manage this with the lead? <laughs> well, the, the Maybe cool thing about this, well, that, but the, also the cool thing about this is that. Our song is called Echo, so if it, there is latency, it's not latency, it's an echo. <laughs> there we go, there um, we go. How should we do this? Okay. Should we do the, I the, think the, I don't know, you uh, you lead, you let me know, and I'll just follow, I'll, I'll, I'll do whatever you tell me to. Okay, um, I think we can trade off lines from like um, the whole, like the pre, like tell me what we're fighting for and is it really okay, worth okay. the battles. Okay. Um, so, uh, do you want to take like, um, and is it really worth the battles? Like every every second and fourth line. Cool. Wait, I gotta. If we're gonna hold on, I think I can do it. Okay. We so can maybe do it. I, I sing ten, five, four, and and do you sing the next one? Okay, got it. Okay, let's go for it. I'm so nervous. <laughs> All right, a one-time Twitter Space exclusive, the first quote-unquote live performance of Echo featuring Aman Malik and Eric Nam. Tell me what we're fighting for And is it really worth the battles We've been going back and forth Like an, like an echo, 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 echo I heard you then you hold me close We get up on the highs and lows yeah, we've been going back and forth like an, like an echo, 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 Thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you for your dedication, for, for your artistry, for being able to come together for, for this song. Uh, we, we went even longer than expected, but I, I thank you guys for your time and your sincere answers. And yeah, I, I know I'm sure I'm speaking for, for uh, the room when we say we're really proud of you guys. We're thankful for you. And um, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. And we're excited to see what happens next. And um, happy, happy APAM month. Thank, thank you, you, thank Steph. you. Um, yeah, thanks, Jeff, for being such a great moderator and a host. Um, always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you to Armand, uh, of course, for, for, for doing this with us and all the Armanians and Nomination and uh, everybody. You guys are awesome. And Armand, I hope you get some sleep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope I can get some. Um, but really, this is awesome. Um, I want to thank Eric for... Uh, being part of this song, Kashmir, for being an integral part of the whole song. Um, Jeff, thank you for moderating this. It was an amazing uh, experience talking with you and conversing with you about so many amazing topics and um, just in general, this collaboration. Thank you to all my fans, um, all the K-pop fans, Nam Nation, Armanians. Um, I think Eric has already shouted out everyone. But uh, lots of love to everyone out here who's listening to us. Um, it's truly an amazing day for everyone. Thank you so much. All right. And with that, we'll say we'll say thanks to everyone here. Thank you, Twitter. And yeah, sorry, before going, I just want to say thanks to Twitter for making this happen. I think if, yes. me, and, <laughs> if me and Eric 
didn't exchange those tweets on Twitter, I don't think Echo would have uh, ever taken birth. <laughs> <laughs> true that, true that. Exactly. So thank you, Twitter. Thank, thank you, Twitter. Eric. Thank you, Armand. Thank you, guys. And, um, Bye. I think the place will close soon. So thank you guys for coming out. Share the love and keep uh, keep streaming. Keep streaming Echo. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Talk soon. Bye. 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 अगर आपने नहीं किया है सब्सक्राइब तो गो एंड सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आईकॉन एंड गेट नोटिफाइड वेन द वीडियो गोज लाइव